Well, hey there, YouTube. Uh, doing this freehand with my handy cam today, and I hope it does a good job. As you see, geoengineering in force here today. As every day, we're getting our warm up. Uh, and what really prompted me to do this video, I thought I'd show you something that was indicative. We're talking about false or fake snow. And now we're getting our melt off. It's actually in the 50s now. Thank goodness we had a long winter. And it looks like it might stay in the upper 40s and 50s and might get a, a 60 out of it. But we had this melt off over the last day, or two days, I'm sorry. And uh, so uh, we had like four inches of solid ice actually out here. So, but I'm welcoming every drop of moisture. It's kind of spongy out here. But I wanted you to take a look at something. Okay, that's solid ice, but it's bubbling. Look at that. See, now you can see the ice pellets that are embedded there. But look at it bubbling. Okay. And as you can see, this is all a big little sheet of ice here. And uh, I'll show you that off over here. That's the stuff that came down, those ice pellets. And it's funny how it's the last thing to go. But I thought this bubbling here was very unusual. Because the bubbles aren't popping like they should, but they keep coming up from here. So I think it's like the chemical makeup of what's in the ice. Okay, that might be explaining why some uh, the snow isn't burning. It's just, you know, think about it. When you got these guys, you know, dumping whatever they need to do to dump in the atmosphere, that's all going to come down on your ground, folks. No doubt about it, your precipitation. And everybody wants to start digging up their gardens. You know, is that a wise idea or not? You know, this is some uh, chemical that's in this snow here that's causing it to bubble. And like I said, you can see that type of like sleet type stuff that's embedded there in the snow. And like I said, I can walk around and show you some other areas that are, I mean, it's not bubbling over here. And it also demonstrates the power of that sun melting off all this ice. This is all ice, as you can see, folks. So I'm basically sliding around here. This was all covered in ice, too, and I had to keep scooping the water away from my front porch. Here's my truck again, my Mercedes on the other side there. Got my uh, crossfire still in the garage. Haven't broke it out yet. Not ready to get it wet. <laughs> um, But I think the bubbling is reacting because the sun, as you can see, is shining right on that one area. And I think it's melting off quicker than the other areas. And so it's reacting with the chemicals and causing it to bubble out. Now, as you can see, I want you to take a look at the shadows that the chemtrails are casting on the upper deck as they layer it in. See those dual shadows there? above the trail itself, so that's not a contrail. It, it proves that the stuff that's coming out of these planes are used with the sun. Bounce the light to where they need it to fall or to spread out the solar radiation and acts like temperature controls. Okay, folks? There's one guy way out there. Can't get him. There he is. But of course, can't deny this guy out here. You know. So geoengineering going on. 
So I got that out of the way. Thought I'd point that out to you. Um, just the way that chemical's reacting with the intense sun there. The intense smell as compared to the rest. So some people might be touch torching it with their lighters and things of that nature. I just look at what happens in nature, you know. And uh, let things happen naturally and try not to have an outside effect to it otherwise you get bad information you know there's a new jeep we got well not a new one it's a laredo and so you know got a good price for it beautiful little little car there's grandma coming out taking the doggies to the vet <laughs> then there's the jet give you a nice little close shot there focus <laughs> okay so that's not a contrail folks yep, no such thing as contrails anymore okay and I'm letting the guys know that thing that's going on in Ukraine that's that's something serious you guys should be paying very close attention a real lousy focus. <laughs> oh, it's because I wanted to see why. But yeah, there you go, folks. It's... See, I wonder how that happened, huh? How did that happen with that trail bouncing out like that, huh? He's still flying right there. Seemed to have slowed down a little bit. There's a guy out there too. And uh, two old Marine Vaughn, uh, that red plane you're talking about, the lead plane. He's the one that provides overall guidance to the rest of them. And uh, that's not paint that you see on the fuselage. I've actually seen it fly right over here this way um, at viewable level, uh, probably at about 2,000 feet. And uh, it's not paint, it's like an anodized or like metallic aluminum look to the fuselage that's red. So uh, it's not painted at all. So, uh, and that's what I can see with my bare eyes, that's how low it was. So we get a lot of action when it comes to geoengineering around here. But you guys, you gotta watch out for Russia, man. Uh, they're gearing up for that, and uh, a lot more ways than one. So uh, be paying attention there. And they're not afraid to go to war. And I've got that missing uh, jet too. I mean, we're talking about a lot of big wars jumping off at once. So it's usually what happens. So uh, well, that's the news that I'm kind of paying attention to right now. Uh, talk, we've got steady M flares that are coming off the sun. Uh, they've got good energy. And apparently they're utilizing it now. And. Uh, they got a delivery coming to our neighbor's house. He's now homebound, but just wanted to show you the uh, activity though today, mostly. You guys, all to stay safe. And oh uh, yeah, that earthquake that happened in California, the spillover effect that's not supposed to happen. All right, it started down in South America and Colombia first, and Argentina, and then Mexico, and California. Went right up that fault line, folks. That is very unusual. And that's not being covered even by Dutch Sense. He missed that one, too. I mean, he saw it in Mexico. He started there, but he didn't go as far as South America and saw that it went all the way from the Southern Hemisphere all up the way up to the Northern Hemisphere with these uh, earthquakes. And, uh, and I believe it's all one type of quake. So uh, humongous power that's going on with spillover effect. And I really think they're putting pressure on the East Coast and they're putting pressure on the West Coast and spillover and putting the pressure in the middle of our United States. That's why I see a lot going on in Oklahoma and places like that. You're getting pressures from uh, both sides. So, because uh, that's what's going on down there in the, uh, uh, in the Caribbean, you know, with uh, Cuban earthquakes and the uh, Virgin Islands uh, earthquakes that are ongoing all the time. So, keeping that pressure up down there. So, anyway, guys. Uh, that's my report for the day. Uh, I got some other things to do, of course. 
and uh, hope this video finds you well. Take care. God bless you all. All right, guys.